Hey there guys, I've got a real quick one for you today because it dawned on me I hadn't really spoken about where you can pick up STL files to use for your 3D printing. Now whizzing around in front of me here is one such file I wanted to show off. This night was a lot of fun to put together. And I want to talk a little bit about the fella who specifically put these up. Now if you go to a site called Thingiverse, this is probably your first port of call if you're getting started with 3D printing and you want to get some files that are free which is the coolest part about them. There's 1,300,000 or so projects listed on Thingiverse, and maybe a third of them are good. <laughs> but out of those, there is a user by the name of Dutch Mogul, and he uploads a whole bunch of stuff. When this video goes live, it's 940 or 640. It's, it's a lot. It's a ridiculous number of, of projects. And in each of those projects is normally three or four files. So he has uploaded maybe a thousand or more things for people to just go ahead and print at home for free. Now, by far, some of the coolest stuff that he's done is entire games, uh, Pocket Tactics, which you can you know, download and print at home and play for free. So I thought that was really neat. I just wanted to very quickly highlight one of the places you can go looking for things, especially if you're looking for generic D&D style figures, uh, he does generic sci-fi stuff, demons and gribbly monsters and things like that, which, you know, no matter what sort of background you've got or what you're looking for, whether it be miniatures or terrain, then give him a shot. Go check it out. There are a score of users on Thingiverse who do some really cool stuff, but Dutch Mogul, if you're into 3D printing as a hobby for miniatures, there's the place I'd start. This fella here, he printed in about two and a half, let's say three hours. And then I spent the afternoon just putting some paint on him. And I've got no use for this guy. <laughs> I put him together because I thought the miniature was cool. So there you go. For about six cents, I had some fun this afternoon. So I strongly recommend you guys go check out Dutch's collections. Uh, he has in there a bunch of stuff that he likes that other people have made. So, you know, you can start filtering through some of the places on Thingiverse where you'll find really good quality files. The bonus with a lot of Dutch's files is that they are deliberately designed to be easier to print with FDM. He does have one or two that he does recommend use a resin printer, but he's very clear about that in his descriptions. So this one, for example, I printed with supports only on the build plate standing completely upright. Uh, I didn't have to do anything clever with them. Okay, these things are designed to just print. So one more time, Dutch Mogul, I will link him in the description below. Go check his stuff out, guys. Have some fun.